Hello everybody, it's me, Sam Group Gaming, and today we're going to go over the second part of my World Guard Complete Guide. Now this part will be going over the region commands, all the commands in game, and uh, how all the stuff works. So, without further ado, let's just begin. So, World Guard comes with this region protection uh, part of it, which allows you to define regions or areas in your world, which will have a certain attributes to it, so things like a uh, different types of flags like uh, TNT is not allowed to be used in this area PvP is only allowed to be used in this area uh, only certain people can build in this area and stuff like that and I'm going to go over most of the flags as well later on in this tutorial so first of all we're going to want to define a region so to define a region you left click the first block and then right click the second block and if you think that's, that's a cuboid because all the blocks inside from corner to corner is the cuboid area. Now there should be an image on the screen which demonstrates this in a nice simple fashion. So you select the two corners and anything in between that will make the cuboid. Another way to do it is to left click the first block, already done that one, right click the second and then you notice that I've only done the bottom floor. What I can do is expand it upwards. So if I do slash expand the amount, so uh, let's say six, reverse amount which would be zero because I don't want to go down, but if I wanted to go down I could have another value, and then direction, so up. So now I expanded this region up higher, so about there roughly on the house. Okay, so that's that's how to the, define a single region there. I'm going to go over polygon regions in a second, but uh, that's how you select it. Now let's define it, so you do slash region define then the name of the region so let's have house so we just use H and then any owners so let's have Sam here for instance so now we save the region as H so how do we know we've done it well we can use the default tool as we defined uh, the string and we can right click a block inside the house so there and it'll tell us whether or not we can build and any applicable region. So you can see the region we defined as H is here. So if we click here, there we go. Uh, but however, if we click outside of it, it'll go world guard, no region defines here. So this is not part of the region, but this is. I'll just try the top block, there you go. So that's all good. We've defined the region successfully. Alright, so now we've defined a region. Let's go over all the member commands. So if we do region, we get a nice list of all the commands, but we can do region add owner, the region name, and then anyone we want to add. So let's have xtorrent. So now uh, xtorrent has been added as an owner to this region. What an owner means will mean that they can add or remove members to their region. They can set flags to it and they can um, set priority and stuff provided they have the appropriate permissions so we're going to want to get info on this region now just to confirm it all works and we can do that by doing region info and then the name so H now you can see there you can see the priority the flags if it has any parents but I'll, learn, I'll go over all those in a sec and any uh, owners it has so owners Sam Q and XTorrent you can also add members by doing region add member the region name and then any name so let's have Ryan Tate 94 so we've updated it now Ryan Tate 94 is a member of this one thing to note owners are automatically members so you don't have to keep adding uh, a user to the member group and the owners group and you can also remove members by doing remove member ID and then the name and you can remove owners by doing region remove owner uh, ID and then the name. Okay, so that's um, that's members and owners. Now let's go over the flags. So the flags were the things I was describing earlier, which would allow you to do certain actions. So for instance, I can disable um, TNT explosions in this area. So let's have a look. So region flag or we can use F because if you're typing a lot of flags in it can become quite tedious if you keep typing flag all the time so let's have F 
then we have the ID, so H, and then we have a massive list of flags we can use. Not going to go over all of them, I'm just going to go over a few of the key ones. I will also provide you a link with all the flags you can use. So, let's uh, have a nice easy one to start with. Let's have the greeting flag. So, type in greeting, that's the name of the flag, and then we type in the string that uh, will be shown when someone enters the region. So, welcome to the house. So now when I enter the region, or any, any player, it will say welcome to the house. Which is quite good. And we can also add a farewell by doing region F, H, farewell. Goodbye, that's the flag. And there we go. And then when we leave, it will say goodbye, because we've defined that text for the farewell tag. Okay, so they're the two ins and outs uh, flags. We can also have things like uh, let's have TNT for instance so region flag the region ID region H TNT and then we have allow or deny let's have deny so now region uh, TNT cannot be used in this I'm not going to go over TNT because that's going to just blow up the house or well, it won't blow up the house but it'll take time but that's what happened TNT won't work now one thing to note, there is a global region so anything that isn't defined as a region will be the global region and we can look at the global region info by doing region info underscore underscore global underscore underscore okay so for some reason that didn't want to work well let's have a look, region uh, flag underscore underscore global and let's have TNT allow so now we've allowed TNT everywhere in the world except from that house because we set the TNT usage to deny at that house so yeah that's quite good um, for some reason I didn't know why it didn't show us the information on global All right, there, for some reason it must have glitched out but there we go we've got the region info on global now we've got the priority the flag so TNT is allowed so we want people to be able to use TNT uh, any parents, any owners, members, and the bounds as well. Because this is a global region, it doesn't really have anything except for mainly flags, which is what you'll be using it for. Okay, so that's TNT. That's pretty much the same thing for lighters, sleep, lightning, chest access, water flow, use, uh, vehicle placement, and stuff. There's many, many flags. Uh, most of them are booleans, which means either allow or deny. Uh, there's not many string ones like the farewell. Uh, one thing, quite a cool one, is the uh, healing. If I can find it. The, okay, right, so there, there is a heal flag as well. But if you want to see a list of all the flags in the game, you can do region, flag, hate, and then just type any random thing in. And it'll show you a list of all the available flags. So you can see there, you've got the heal max health, feed max hunger. So if you wanted to make a hospital, you could add the healing um, flag to it and it would heal them if, if a player was in it. And uh, there you go, there's a nice list of all the um, flags. So that's how you add the five flags as well. So now that's done, let's go over and define a polygon region. So this guy here does not know how to make a house and he has made a really quite... NAF one and it's really weird and randomly placed and it's just awkward I could do a cuboid around it however there's be this gap here which uh, people won't be able to do it and there's all this bit here which he'll own as well which is not really what I want but I want him to just be able to edit inside his house so what he can do he can change the selection of his uh, axe to do a 2D polygon, so we do SL poly SL poly right, okay, so now we're in the 2D polygon selector so we left click to add the first point and then right click to add any further points so what I do, if you think about this as a polygon from the top view I'm going to select here and then go around it using the right click like so so 
if I demonstrate this, I'm going to take the first point here. The second point I'm going to just do here, 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 and do one here, 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 and go back to where we started. So there we go. So that's the region. And now we can, at the moment, this is just a one, uh, one higher, so it's not very useful. One of the things you can do is expand it, like we did before. So we're going to use vert instead of the actual 10 up. And this will expand it from bedrock to sky, which is quite a nice idea. So this is now, the selection has been expanded to bedrock to sky and in this polygon region. So now I'm going to define it, so region define with a D, H2. So there we are, region save H2. So again, if I right click, say here, no world well regions, even though it's around, I can right click the house and it will say H2. And uh, up on the ceiling as well and on the floor all works well. So that's that's the, that's good. So that's how you um, do a polygon select. To go back to cuboid, you do SL and then cuboid. And now we've gone back to cuboid selection mode. Okay, so now we're going to go to quite a nitty gritty bit of it, and this is going to be the priorities and childs and parents. Okay, so here we have a well, we're going to have two regions inside a region. So let's define the first region. This is going to be the parent. Parent is the basically the bigger region and it is the region which will have regions inside it so let's define this as region define um, and then let's have p for parent Oops. let's remove that right the region remove is region remove and then p so that's how you remove regions what I forgot to do here was expand it vertically so expand vert region define p so now it's expanded it vertically from bedrock to sky. And now we're going to do this one here. So it's around a little house. Region define. Let's have H. Let's have C for child. And there we are. So now we have uh, one region called P. So there you can see our applicable region is P. If right click here, this one's got two regions. You've got child, or the, the region C, and the region P. So some problems will occur if say this one has TNT but this one doesn't and vice versa so what we can do is set priority for flags and have child flags first thing we're going to do is the parent and child so let's define it first and then I'll go over what it actually does so region set parent so we're going to set the parent of child so this will be the child ID so C and then the parent ID region which would be P and now we can set the C to P. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. But basically what we've done is we've made this smaller region a child of this one. So this bigger region could be like the town and the child region is like a house. Now what will happen, the bigger region gives all of its owners to the child region. Okay, so uh, someone can own this uh, house and edit in this house, right? But they cannot edit in the uh, town, which will be quite useful if you don't want griefing. However, if they own the town, they will be able to edit anywhere in the town as well as in the region. So it inherits its owners. It also inherits um, flags as well. So, for instance, if this, this uh, child region had no flag to denote uh, fire spread, so they fire spread was on everywhere. If I had this region uh, added a flag so that fire spread was turned off in this town, then this smaller region would inherit the fire spread and it also too would not have a fire spread allowed either. Which would be quite good again with making towns and cities and whatnot. So that's that. We can also add priorities. Okay, so the region set priority will allow you to set a rank almost for the regions the higher the number the higher the priority 
and the higher the priority it will override any owners and members and override any flags so we're going to set the priority with region set priority C and let's have say 20 it just has to be larger than the other one and this one is 0 so 20 is larger than 0 so this will have priority so for instance if we had a an issue where uh, let's have TNT is denied in this um, this village so this will sometimes override depending on what happened and the child region will not have will have TNT allowed for instance but it won't work because of this region here is covering up this one so what will happen the priority will override the villages priority and we can allow it to use TNT in that region so that's how priority works you have negative numbers there's no limit on the numbers well there is a limit but this shouldn't be a problem um, so you can have negative numbers and positive numbers but the higher the number the more priority it is so that's a general gist of the region commands priorities flags and whatnot uh, the best way to do it would be to do it yourself as well have a play around with it on like a test server possibly and then just to see how everything works what all the flags do and again I'll provide a link in the description to all the flags um, so that's that one last thing to do before we end is the just the general other commands so we've got God and then the player name so thank you and then that makes me invincible I can do ungod and that will not mean not make me un, un, invincible got heal player and that will give you full health uh, slay player and obviously that's gonna kill me and that will work even when you're in game mode one as you saw there which is quite useful uh, let me just build the train okay so now we're going to do locate and then the player name so compass repointed so what this will do it will point the compass at the player or at me and you can see it changes and uh, we can also do stack so if I have loads of items in my inventory like green wall let's just make it all messy I do slash stack and I'll stack all the items into one nice stack which is quite good and there's a few emergency commands stop fire which will stop the fire in the world you're in if someone managed to bypass the fire and it was going everywhere then you can do slash stop fire to disable it everywhere and then alternatively use allow fire to allow it again and then you've got stop lag now what this will do it will try to make it as laggy unlaggy as possible uh, it will remove entities do it won't do stuff like water flowing as you can see there and it will just try to prevent stuff so if you've got like a high load for some reason and you want to try and prevent lag then that's the command you want just to, st uh, prevent, to stop the stop lag uh, command you do stop lag hyphen C and now you can use water again and entities will return and I believe that is all uh, hope you enjoyed it's quite a long lengthy guide I hope it's given you an insight into world guard it's quite a big plugin like I said so play around with it find out new ways to do stuff things to do with priorities and reading commands but that, that polygon selection would be a quite useful one which I recently found out while I was doing this guide so uh, that's that would be quite useful and then the childs and parents as well but yeah uh, yeah so thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe this is with me Samka Whoop Gaming with my world guard guide signing out